Hi there, folks. I'd like to show you a very simple way to either fix or tighten your loose pots on the Roland MC505 group box. The real problem is most of the pots are not properly secured. You'll see on the volume and the low boost these pots are screwed and bolted into place with a metal support whereas all the other pots there's nothing there's nothing to stop them from moving around the only thing holding them in place is the soldering onto the main board so up the top here they get very loose and wobbly and eventually they become useless because they will start coming away from the main board so what I found luckily I came across um, some rubber hose which I'm using first you have to cut a little piece of this hose there are two types of hose you can use this is the first one which I find is the best fit fits perfectly for this job this is a very standard common hose used underneath sinks and laundry tubs places like that it usually comes with attachments on the ends I'm not sure where you can buy it loose but I'm sure it's a common type of hose or the size you can get at plumbing stores and so on and so forth there is another one this here is a type which is used on automobile engines for certain water pipes and oil oil pipes connections this one is made by Goodyear is listed as being 5 16th or point sorry 7.9 millimeters which which um, basically means the hole in the middle the wall thickness is the same on both of these it's 3 millimeters the only problem with the black one is it's a fraction too wide for what we want to use it for let's say it's approximately 14.5 millimeters wide whereas this one is exactly 14 millimeters wide so if you can only find a black one you'll have to you'll have to file off some of the outside or sand it off so it fits more easily but this one you can see here's a small piece it needs to be around about six millimeters six millimeters wide and maximum seven millimeters so six millimeters six and a half millimeters is best so I've already done quite a few on this machine on the other side also you can see how sloppy this one is how loose this one is and this one here you can see it's hard hard to actually move it it's very tight so that's really what you want because this will prevent them from getting any worse and maybe save you a lot of money in the long run so you just take your little piece like this you can wedge it in with your fingers press it down slowly try to push it down evenly so you're not putting any pressure on the pot itself on the center of the pot it's a lot easier also if you use some small screwdriver like so 
So as I said, it doesn't, you don't have to push it down any further than that. It's, there is an advantage to having, to having it slightly protruding like this, because if at any stage you have to do, you have to lubricate the pot, you can see now it's very sturdy. But if you ever need to lubricate, there's plenty of space there and the lubrication will simply go exactly where it's supposed to go instead of all over the main board and you don't have any mess to clean up. So you may be wondering if the buttons will fit on. The center of the button, the knob, you can see it doesn't come all the way down. So there's plenty of room once you put this back on, they will move freely. No problem there. And if you ever by chance have to remove these, you, there's still plenty of plenty of stuff to grip onto or to wedge it out again. I've done that several times. You can actually remove this quite easily. So, I hope this little video may help you solve that problem and save you a lot of money. If you have any comments or questions, please leave some below or click on the like button. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your music.